So this is the Ekasis 21 port Thunderbolt 4 docking station. And in my opinion, this is the best Thunderbolt dock for Mac users. And here's why. So this is my workspace where I use the M4 Mac mini and the M2 MacBook Air for work. The Mac mini is inside the Ekasis dual workstation dock. On the setup, I have my 32 inch 4K monitor, keyboard and mouse, Scarlett Solo audio interface, headphones, speakers, external hard disk, microphone, webcam, and I also need a place to connect my external SSD as well as SD cards since I work with a lot of video files. And this right here is the Acasis 21 port Thunderbolt 4 docking station, which allows me to connect this whole setup to my Mac mini with just one USB-C cable. And I can also switch this whole setup from the Mac mini to the MacBook Air with one cable. And for someone like me, being able to switch the whole setup with just one cable between my Mac mini and my MacBook Air is super useful. Inside the box, you get the user manual, the dock itself, a USB-C to C Thunderbolt 4 cable, a 240 watt power brake, and the power cord. Now talking about design and build quality, the Acasis Thunderbolt dock is completely made out of metal, so it feels really solid in the hand. There's no creaks, no flexing. It's a sturdy piece of hardware. And the design is very similar to the CalDigit dock. So you have this ridged sort of look on the sides and everything else is super clean, super minimal. It's a very industrial design in my opinion. And I really like this metallic gray color. It goes really well with professional setups where you don't want things to stand out too much. And if you have space gray or black Apple products, this matches with them really well. My only suggestion design-wise is that we have this really large rubber pad on the bottom for vertical placement, but there's no grip for horizontal placement. So if you have this dock on your desk placed horizontally and you're plugging things in and out, it's you know kind of shifting around on the desk. So my recommendation is to include adhesive rubber strips that we can install and solve this problem because I think this dock looks great both vertically as well as horizontally. So that's my suggestion in terms of design. Now talking about tech specs, this is a 21 port Thunderbolt 4 docking station. It requires 240 watts of power to get the max potential and the 240 watt power brick is included in the box and it can supply up to 90 watts of power to the device it's connected to via Thunderbolt. So a MacBook Air, a MacBook Pro, or any Windows laptop that supports Thunderbolt. So when connected to a compatible device, not only you are able to use all the ports, but you're also kind of powering and charging that device at the same time. Now doing a quick overview of the ports, towards the front, you have your power button to turn the dock on and off. Below that, you have your full size SD card reader and your micro SD card reader. And these are gonna be SD and TF 4.0, rated for speeds up to 312 megabytes per second for data transfer. So you can use UHS2 cards here without any issues. Next, we have a 3.5mm audio jack, and this is a combo jack. So it supports both headphones and microphones at the same time. And followed by that, we've got three USB Type-C ports. The two on the top are gonna be 10 Gbps ports for data transfer to connect you know, any accessories to. And the one on the bottom is a power delivery port. It says PD 30 watts, which means it can supply up to 30 watts of power to the device it's connected to. So you can connect a USB-C cable here and maybe charge your iPhone or iPad or any other smartphone if you wanted to. Next to that, we've got four USB type A ports. The two on the bottom are gonna be the slower USB 2.0 standard, which means you're gonna get speeds up to 480 megabits per second. I recommend these only for you know, low power accessories like keyboard and mouse receivers, webcams, or microphones. And the two on the top are gonna to be USB 3.2 Gen 1 type A ports, which means you'll get the full 10 Gbps data transfer speed. Now towards the back, you've got a full-size HDMI port, which supports displays up to 8K 60 Hertz. We have another USB-C 10 Gbps port for data transfer as well as accessories. Next to that, we've got two more 3.5 mm audio jacks. And this time around, they're separated. So you've got one for headphones and one for microphones, which is nice. So let's say you wanted to connect speakers to the Mac mini. The Mac mini does not have an audio jack on the back, so this could be very useful. We have two more USB-A 10 Gbps ports. Now below that, we've got three USB-C 40 Gbps ports. These are going to be your fastest ports on the dock, one of which is a host port. So this is going to connect to the host device, whether it's a Mac mini, a MacBook, or a Windows laptop that's compatible with Thunderbolt. And the other two 40 Gbps ports can, of course, do 40 Gbps data transfer, 15 watts of power delivery, and display output.
output as well. So if you're doing multiple displays, I think this is the one to use for. And you've got your RG45 Ethernet jack, which is a 2.5 gigabit LAN port. So it's not only useful for internet, but also to transfer data locally at a faster speed. So if you have a local storage or a NAS solution, this can be very useful for that. Last but not the least, you have your power port and your Kensington lock slot. Now talking about performance and my personal experience of using the AKSYS Thunderbolt docking station, I've been using it in my personal work setup for the last three months and so far I have had no issues. It delivers exactly what it promises, which is lots of ports, great performance and reliability. I haven't had any dropped connections, I haven't lost any data and for the most part, it's been rock solid. Yes, when you have a lot of things connected and you're transferring data, maybe running a bunch of displays, it can get warm sometimes, but that's pretty much it. Other than that, I have had no issues. I turn it on, it does the job, and I've also tested all the ports for speed and performance, and they work really good. For instance, I work with a lot of video files, so the full-size SD card reader here is super useful. It's really fast. I tested it with my SanDisk you know, Extreme Pro card that I use with my cameras. I was able to get full speeds. The USB-C ports right here are super useful for external SSDs. The power delivery port has been extremely useful to charge accessories like earbuds and also my iPhone sometimes. And I've been using the USB-C 40 Gbps port to run my 4K 32 inch display, which is again, really useful. And personally, I recommend this docking station to anyone who needs a lot of ports, who has a bunch of devices on their setup and needs them connected at all times. Or if you wanna switch your whole setup between a MacBook or a Mac mini, with just one cable. I think it's gonna be super useful for that. I'll leave links in the description down below so you guys can check out the AKSYS 21 port Thunderbolt docking station. I'll also leave my discount code so you can save some money at checkout. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and smash the like button, subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you guys don't miss out on future uploads. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys have any questions or queries about this docking station. I'll be happy to answer those. But with that being said, thanks for watching and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.